Hello my darlings, it's Tuesday and here we are back again with another Let's Build the World. And welcome to the final part of Brindleton House. We have reached the penultimate, penultimate? Penis? <laughs> I don't know where the penis came from, but it did. Hello, hello, final part today. We have got Lady Penelope's bedroom to furnish and also the butler's bedroom today. I've done a little magic off of camera to get this, get the house kind of finished and complete, ready to upload to the gallery and move on to the next one. Now I've decided sticking with this family storyline, we're gonna be here quite a while because there are a few builds that tie in with this one storyline. Um, we're gonna move on to Graham's antique shop afterwards. We're gonna build a little retail antique shop um, somewhere else in Brindleton Bay, where we haven't been yet either. And that's where I want to do a lot of the retail area. So that's what we're going to do. That is what we're going to do, my gorgeous. We're joined by that beautiful little boy down there. I hope you've all had a lovely weekend. I had a lovely one. I spent most of it in the garden. My legs are still... Sorry, I'm just screwing up my vape bottle here. Um, my legs are still aching from gardening. <laughs> my legs are aching, aching, aching more from gardening than like an hour of yoga. So what's that about? No idea. Maybe I need to push myself a bit harder in yoga. What am I going on about? Let's get into game. Right then, my little minge fluffs. Here we are. We are back. We are back at Brindleton House for the final time. I have in I have enjoyed building this. I really have enjoyed furnishing it and whatnot. What is this? What the fuck is this? Oh, it's because I've put a basement in. I've just realised that. Oh, slap a tit. Oh, I can't spoil that just yet either. It's because I've extended the basement out and it's done that there. And there's no other way to walk around. Oh, I might have to reduce the size of this down here by one. That's going to be annoying because I like how this is, um, came about. I'll talk more about this in a minute. I have finished furnishing one of the bedrooms. We've, we've done a little guest bedroom here. Let's put those walls down for the minute. Um, just a little guest bedroom and we managed to use that blue wallpaper that I didn't use um, downstairs because we were going to use this one downstairs. But I've just used it in the simple, clean little guest suite that I thought would be really cute. And I've also done the main bathroom as well. There's a few things I want to add in here, I think. I think it looks a little bit empty. Uh, so I might even put a couple of statues or something in there. Quite, quite bougie. And then what we're going to be doing today is the master suite here, ensuite bathroom and the butler's um, bedroom as well. Now you obviously just saw what I've done. As I said, Graham is an antique dealer, So he's got a cellar where he keeps all of his antiques um, for sale or to replenish or sell at one point in his antique shop. Um, and I was like, oh, it's going to be weird to get this stuff down here. I was thinking of realism in mind. In my head, this was used by servants back in the day. Um, Back in the day, this is where the servants would. I reckon maybe even the kitchen was down here as well. Maybe like a kitchen. Then there was a, I don't know, a servant bedroom somewhere. Uh, no idea. Um, And then I was like, how are they going to get the mobs? So I've done, this is the system. This is the system. This is how he gets all of his um antiques down into the cellar. By means of a pulley system. And then I was like, well, there needs to be a kind of door at the top then. So I've done this little trap door. <laughs> I've done a little trapdoor off to the side of the build. Uh, it's not really fitting in with the... the, um, <laughs> the Can I change that to white, actually? Why don't we do that? I think I had that before. Yeah, maybe white and grey. No, we'll go back to white. Um, so, yeah. So, that's where all the antiques come out of. Yes, this door is too small. But, for goodness sake, this is The Sims. We don't need to be that realistic. And I have <laughs> used two plants. I've used two plants for the ropes. Um, I just thought that was a good way of doing it. And there's a little storage room down here as well. Um, but that's pissed me off. I do want access here. Like this, They do need to be able to walk into the back garden. Uh, so they'd have to walk all the way around or only be able to get in through the house sort of way. I do want an access point through there. So I'm going to have to change this slightly. Um, let's do it now. Let's may, we, may, we may as well. We're here. We're queer. Get fucking used to it. All right. Right, so I'm going to flop you to there. That sorted that out. Now, this has just made this a little bit narrow. Has it, though? Because I could probably still fit this all in here. Um, and this would have been a kitchen, so maybe it was a galley kitchen. That is the storyline. We're getting rid of that box. We're getting rid of you now, darling. We've already got boxes down here. We don't need you. We're going to get a few of these chairs. Um, Nestle Toulouse chairs, thank you, please. Um, 
Oh, Mr. Was it called Neslo too, lass? He was, wasn't he? He was from Glimmerbrook. <laughs> um, so we've got a few of them down here. And then I had two china cabinets, didn't I? I mean, I could slip this in somewhere. I could just plot you there, darling. I mean, there's no system down here. It's just, if there's space, he crams it full of antiques. He goes on all of these adventures around the world, I reckon, to find these antiques and bring them back home. And I reckon Penelope's a little bit pissed off of that because she gets left to, she gets left at home while he's gallivanting around the world. Um, and, yeah, you know, human. Anyway, hello. Here we are. We're, we're going to start. I think we're going to start with the master suite. We're going to start with um, Penelope and Graham's bedroom. I reckon this is going to have Penelope all over it um, rather than Graham himself. So we're going to decorate in mind for Penelope. Now, I did have... Uh, I pulled out a bed earlier and it really worked. I think it was this one and it was in... It was in a powder blue and it just really worked. Not this one. Um, where are you, my darling? There is a powder blue version. There, that one. Oh, it does. I'm flopping you in, darling. Yeah, and I think I'm going to whiffle it into there as well. I'm going to whiffle it into this space here. Yeah. Yeah, that, 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 that does work for me in this room. I'm not enjoying those gold. Gold! I'm not enjoying them. So I think I'm just going to go for plain white in here. Not much gold aspect in here, I don't think. We're going to stick with this kind of plain vibe coming through. I've also put on two bigger windows here. There was two smaller windows here in the beginning, but it just didn't fit this room when I came into the interior. So I've changed it. I changed it. And there's nothing you can do about it because it's already been changed. Uh, I pulled out this because I tried to fit this in... Uh, the spare bedroom, but it just wouldn't work. So I put, plopped it in here and I think it would work there quite magically. Magically indeed. Yeah, that's nice. We're going to have to try and squeeze some end tables in there. though. That's going to be a struggle because we all know how big they are. And it winds me up sizing them down because nothing goes on top of them. They float and then you move it down and then they just pop back up again. And it makes me absolutely fuming. Right. <clears throat> what am I doing? Wardrobes. Wardrobes. I'm thinking... Do I? Oh, there is, they've got gold hand. Gold. They've got... Oh, oh, we could go for like a light timber in here. Or we could darken it down. I mean, I'm going to be mixing the wood tones. Like I have like the wood downstairs with the whiter sort of trims and the darker furniture and stuff. So maybe we can do the same up here. These do look nice because we need to tie in that floor a little bit more. It's kind of white isn't it? Um, in here, isn't it? So maybe we'll do two of these. We'll flop them either side like that. I could probably flop a mirror in place as well. Um, so let's do that, shall we? Let's do it. How are you lot doing? I know everybody asked that, but please let me know. I hope you're doing okay. Remember, you are all worth it. You are all seen. You are all loved um, by me and by many people out there. I just wanted to say that just in case you needed to hear that today. I think it's very important to know you're appreciated too. You're appreciated for being part of this amazing community and this amazing YouTube ride that I'm on, um, which is just crazy. It really is. I still wake up every day and think, what the hell is my job? What am I doing? Um, and you guys make it all worth it. You really, really do. So thank you. Thank you for being you. <laughs> Enough of that cheese, please. Aiden, move the fuck on. Move the fuck on. Say something disgusting. Say something disgusting to break the ice. <laughs> uh, I won't, no. Right, I'm going to use one of these, I think. I think I might flop one of these. Oh, I did want to put you here, but I think you might interrupt that picture slightly. I mean, you do, but I could move the picture. Nope, you can't. <laughs> and I do like that picture in this room. Oh, we can pop you here. Yeah, we'll do a little dressing table moment here. Um, and I'll put a chest of drawers there. Oh, do you know what ones? I don't know if they come in that same... Brun, but we will give it a go. No, it's a bit darker. It is a bit darker. What about if I went lighter? Uh, what about if I went white? Oh, I could go white with it. Uh, no, I don't think that's the right, the right feel. Now I would use that, but look at the graphics compared to the others. Look at that. It's like when you, if you bought a cabinet from Wish. Not feeling that. Let me see if I can find one. We'll go for this one. We'll go for this one from uh, Get Together. I tried a few of them and none of the swatches were really working. But this one here is nice. I think we're going to go for it. And it's only going to hold our, like their grudge in. Um, oh, don't you think that's the worst name, Philip? 
Um, the, another slang word for you. Um, I know you guys enjoy some UK slang words. Um, gruds. <laughs> it's a slang word for underwear. You're welcome. <laughs> you're, you're absolutely welcome. So everybody get your gruds out, you know? <laughs> you know, just get your gruds out, darlings. Absolutely get your gruds out. Um, interesting to know, is that a northern thing as well? I know we use it in the south, but I'm wondering if you guys up north call them uh, gruds as well. <laughs> I'd be very interested to know. <laughs> what a name. What a name for a pair of underwear. Gruds. It's, it, they, it, they sound dirty. I think that's what they're meant to be, actually. I think it's meant to insinuate that they've got dirty gruds. <laughs> Not dirty gruds, but they've got dirty gruds. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but you're here to learn, aren't you, darlings? You're here to learn. There is no point trying to get an end table in here. I'm just coming to terms with it now. Nothing's going to fit in there um, as well as what... We it would just look stupid if I... Like, what, what's that? You know, I don't think we're going to do an end table on either side there. Which is a shame. <gasps> oh. Now. I did like the bed there. But. We could do end tables. If I flopped the bed here. Flopped the bed here. And weirdly. This bed being a different colour. Like wood's not throwing me. Just because of the style I'm going for in this house. Um, It's not throwing me. I've been into many kind of stately homes. uh, Where matching wood tones all over the show darlings mahogany with oak you know so get your gruts out <laughs> uh maybe we should match the end tables in though yeah that could be nice let's do that let's match the end tables in go for that a little bit more of a lighter aesthetic here i'm going to use those same lamps that i've used everywhere those vampire lamps because they just suit it and we've gone for a blue look in here so it would be nice to crash in a bit more blue into this suite. Oh, for it. I'm thinking a little chaise long number there. I think it might be a bit too big, though. We did do a chaise, didn't we? Yeah, we did it down here. Will that be too big there? Kind... No, no, I reckon, I reckon it could work. Look at me arguing with myself about it. We could make this work. Uh, it almost makes me want to change this lighter as well. Oh, could I do that? No, no, that takes away the antique vibe to me. That's not the right colour either. Oh, oh, that's a bit darker. I wish we had like a white and blue version. Um, the wood's dark. Mm, I'm not feeling that. I'm not feeling this now, now that this is here. So I might even, if I get rid of you, I might even just do a chaise moment here. I might. Yeah, I think I will. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. I'm thinking maybe a bookcase in here as well. Oh, this would have been a perfect space for a bookcase. Ooh, maybe I can get rid of that. Put you here. The only problem with doing this is that picture's not good. That painting's not going to be able to go anywhere now. Maybe I could pop you there. Should I do two of them? Can I fit two? I mean, they've got many, many pairs of grads, loves. You know, you can't put it past them. Is that a bit too much? No, I don't think it is, actually. I think that's fine. I am going to put... Oh, I want to use this somewhere, but I don't know where the hell I'm going to use it. We'll have to trial it somewhere. I don't know. Plop you there for the minute, love. We're going to flop a bookcase in here. I just think bedroom with a bookcase. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Not so much Regency, but, you know... That's all I need to say. <laughs> um, oh, I do like that. I do like that tone in here. I thought I wasn't going to, but I do. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to flop a little chair in the side of it there. I'm going to try and flop a chair in. Uh, what chairs did I use down here? Ah, oh, I didn't use any. I just used... But I do want these as a chair. Uh, and I always forget... Oh, it's this one. I was just about to say, I always forget which one to go with which. Um, and it was this one, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Oh, go on. Slip in there, my darling. 
<laughs> majoring sex. I'm joking that it's not majoring sex. Thank you. Thank you very much. Imagine, imagine that. Go on, darling. Just slip in there. <laughs> Stop it. There shouldn't be children watching, but <laughs> you never know. <laughs> what was that laugh? No idea. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This is too much now. I'm seeing that this is too much. Yeah. We're gonna just we're just gonna keep one. Oh, unless unless I put this off to the side and put this chair over in the corner. Because I think it would be less squished there. Yes, we'll do that. And then what I can do here is flop you in and maybe put some sconces either side. No, do you know what? That's kind of balancing out that space. Okay. So I think we'll leave it like that. Yeah, I'm glad we did that. I'm glad we did do that. I do need a bougie lamp over there or something. And maybe I could use this up here, but just size it down. I mean, it's not a great use of space having a picture in there in the corner, but I think we're going to do it anyway. You know, in for a penny, in for an absolute pounding, darlings. Right, there we go. And then you can just whiffle out of here a little bit like that. Yeah, nice big thing of flowers there. As I said, she likes her fresh flowers. And she loves these ones being in the bedroom because they just they just fill the room with like a really spring scent that she just loves. Absolutely loves she does. <laughs> really, really does. Uh, I'm on one. You can tell I've got my energy back after COVID, loves. <laughs> I'm, I'm absolutely on one all the time now. Absolutely on one all, all the time. Yeah, I think that will work in here, actually. I'm going to flop you to about there. Lovely. Absolutely here for that. Really am. Uh, I think this room is practically done. I don't want anything else in here apart from a rug. So I'm going to try and look for a rug. And maybe if I can find any little trinket or something that would work in here, I'll bring that out too. Um, so give me one jiffy. We had a little bit of a reshuffle. We had a reshuffle of the furniture placement. I just think this works better having a wardrobe moment in there. And I might. I don't know if I'm going to do this. So I'm going to testicles it out with you guys i might even do a little moment like this in here it is not a time to sing aiden i nearly broke into kelly clarkson you know i can't help it whenever i say that yeah i think we will do that i think we will or oh, oh. <laughs> i don't know what that noise was but <laughs> oh fireplace fireplace would have looked great in there in front of the bed Oh, am I going to do a reshuffle again? I am. There. That's better. So I've used this big vampire fireplace in here. Then we had a space to put the picture at full size. Stunning. And I've put the wardrobes back over here. I got rid of the bookcase. It just wasn't fitting in with this layout. Uh, I did like it in this room. I really did. But I got rid of it. And we've gone for this look instead. Uh, I just think it suits it. And then we went for this rug here. Which is a bit of a greenier vibe, but I just think it suits him with this room quite nicely, don't you? I'm for that. Oh, by the way, ignore the ceilings. I'm doing a speed build for Friday. Um, so we've got those kind of ceilings in here for the minute. Um, and I haven't said that in a hot titty minute, have I? Ignore the ceilings. Anyway, so moving on to the butler's room. Okay, here we go. I've put a fireplace in here as well. Because I'm thinking this could be a space where he, he's got his own little kind of like mini living room area with his bedroom area here. And I reckon he uses the main bathroom himself. It would have been nice for him to have an ensuite, But because of the space and stuff, it's just not going to work out, darling, sadly. Um, so we're moving on. We're moving on. He uses the butler poos in the main bathroom. Lady Penelope, she's all right with that. She is. So we're going to use a nice single bed. I'm thinking, where is that? This one here would work well. Maybe we should go for the blue vibe in here as well. Ooh. Or we could go a little bit more neutral. That one would look nice in this space. But I'm thinking maybe to tie in the blue from over there. Making this room blue. Because it's very blue floor, this one. Um, And I'm kind of into that. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. I'm thinking your bed... Would probably work best pushed up by the curtains here, my darling. We're going to keep your furniture quite light, I think. <clears throat> um, you'll see the butler one day. Don't you worry. You'll see the butler one day. But I haven't um, employed them yet. <laughs> and I always go into um, cast full edit mode when the butler comes in. 
Are you just got to? Because some of them look a mess, loves. They do. They really do. This is not me being mean. It's just me being observant. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll do a little side table there. We're going to need a dresser. So I think we'll flop the dresser down there. Oh, which would give me the opportunity to use another one of these white dresses in this room. Seeming as we're going for a bit more of a lighter vibe here. I'll put the dresser right to there. Oh, you're not going to be able to get in there to the mirror though, are you? Hmm, maybe I won't then. Maybe I'll put the dresser to here. And we'll do a little oval mirror, I think, in this room. Oh, do you only come in one colour? Oh, Sims. Oh, here we go. Oh, God, this is base game, though. It's going to look absolutely... Look at the bloody... Can you please just sort those meshes and textures out? I know you're refreshing all the packs and whatnot, but can you please sort out the meshes on the base game stuff? Because I can't... I literally can't with it anymore. It looks like Sims 2. And I liked Sims 2. I did. Even though... And I know this is going to be... This is going to be very controversial. I was much more of a fan of Sims 3. I won't lie. I thought Sims 3 was so much better than Sims 2. When it worked. Because <laughs> I remember that game breaking constantly. Where, why, why am I getting deja vu saying that? I don't know why I'm getting deja vu. It's almost like there's a game out now that we're playing that breaks all the time. It's just full of bugs. Weird. Weird. Don't know why I'm thinking that. Don't know why I'm thinking that, but... You know... Look at me. Look at me being a bitch. Well. <laughs> just well. Do I want to do this? Do we want a little separate... Oh, we could. We could have a little separate moment. Maybe with just an arch, though. Did I use an arch down here? We did. We used these, didn't we? Maybe we could have a little moment. Like this... Uh, I'm going to put you quite central into the room now, though. I'm going to flop you to about there. Oh, God, you're off-piste. You're off-piste to the uh, fireplace, and that's making me sad. But I think I'm going to do it anyway. Um, yeah, we are going to do this. I've decided. We're just going to do white panelling in this room as well. We do need to brighten this room back up with that. Um, did I not press lighting then? Nope, I pressed decorations uh, with one of these. And I put it in the middle and just size it down so it doesn't have that weird glitch happening i think we're gonna do this we're gonna go give we're gonna we're gonna give the uh butler a little tv and maybe a pc as well computer i'll lock this door to make sure that they don't get in here yeah we're gonna do that did i give them a computer down here i did i gave them a laptop i gave them a laptop okay right and then a little tv up here well not little it needs to be quite a substantial one um to fit in with this fireplace quite nicely. And we'll go for a lighter aesthetic there as well. Not going to put any curtains on these windows. I'm just going to leave them. Um, he needs to be up at the crack of dawn. He needs to be up at the crack of dawn when first light happens. So these windows that shine on him. Um, or her. Or them. Whoever the butler may be. Um, so uh, yeah. That's the storyline. Thank you. Uh, so yeah. Desk wise then. We need a little desk down here as well. I'm thinking... Oh, you would work. Oh, you're going to fit in there like an absolute dream as well, darling. Oh, yes. Absolutely, yes. Um, Do you come in a light? For oh, you do. Everything's very light in here. Very light. But we're going to go with it. We are absolutely going to go with it. I'm going to fix you to about there, my love. Oh, he's going to look. He could have a little coffee table in here as well. We'll give him a desktop. Or them or she. I don't know who the butler is, and I keep um, saying a he, don't I? Oh, that's very expensive. Well, she's got 2.2 million. She can afford it. Um, and a nice little lamp here. I think I'm going to go for that lovely lamp that I love lamp. Where is it? You're usually around here. I'm sensing you coming to me. But you're not. You're way back here. So my senses are off. Oh, no, maybe it was on. Where are you, lamp? There you are. <laughs> I thought I was going to have to stop for a minute then. Nope, I found it. Ah, oh, stunning. And no matter what room in the house it is, even the butler's room, fresh flowers. It's just a thing. It is just a thing. Keeps the florist 
which we are going to be building. We're going to be doing a florist. Um, keeps the florist in um, business, even though there's a little bit of drama with the florist. But she still uses their services only because it's the same one as the queen in Windenburg. Um, <laughs> I need to keep track of these storylines. I've had someone ask me if I write anything down to keep track of these storylines. No, I just hope for the best. <laughs> I hope for the best. And then when it comes to the save file, I just go back and check. I go back and check and just make sure that I've got the... Because I'm usually quite good at remembering. Um, I go back and check and just make sure I've got it right. I mean, that works there. That does. We're going to put a bougie painting in here. Maybe I should put you in here, actually, instead of in the bathroom. No, that's a bit too small. We're going to go for a big boy. We're going to go for a landscape um, shape, I think. Can we use you in here? Oh, I know you're gold, but you might work quite well. Gold! You thought I wasn't going to do that. I did. I absolutely did. It just came right out then. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. And then a little coffee table, I think, down here. Little cheeky coffee table. Little coffee table. <laughs> not used in the same sentence. In the same... It's really not. But um, I think you might be okay, actually. The, the rug looks way too small. We're going to scale you to a one... No. It was too big, wasn't it? So it needs to be a naught point point place. Eight. Let's see where it goes. Oh, it's a little bit too big still. Maybe 0 0.7. Seven, my lucky number. Born on the seventh. Um, Lived at number seven for many a year. Parents' house was a number seven. It's just a lucky number for me. What's your lucky numbers, darlings? And why? I would like to know why. Don't just put a number and say this one because I like how it looks. <laughs> um, <laughs> I want to know your reasons why. Thank you. Content on here, loves. I'm going to have... Oh, why did that door move? Oh, oh, it's not balanced. That makes me sad. And I can't put it there because it looked weird, wouldn't it? No. No, that's fine. It would make me... Much happier having balanced sconces, I tell you. Love a fucking sconce, me. Yeah, and I might even flop a few around in this room if I can do it. Can we put you up here? Will you look weird? Oh, absolutely not, you don't. You would there, though. I think you'd look a bit crowded there. Oh, we put one there. Not going to do one in here, though, because I want to put a lamp up there. Yeah, I'm happy with how this room looks. I think it's very nice. Very nice indeed. Oh, I'm for it. And then in here, what could we put up there? Let me find some bits because I think I'm going to have to shuffle around the catalogue. There we go. I just finished the room off with a lamp, a little chair, a couple of magazines by the bed, um, some books so they could, the butler can read when they're in their room, um, and a photo of a butterfly because, I don't know, maybe the butler's mum is a butterfly. <laughs> No, no. That, the butler's mum is not a butterfly because that would not make sense. <laughs> oh, my lord. My lord. And I'm going to flop a grandfather clock up in this hallway. <laughs> up in this hallway. I'm still laughing at the fact that the, the butler's mum is a butterfly. <laughs> that is not the storyline. Because that would be strange. Um. Okay. Okay. It's time for tour, loves. We are done. We're done. Uh, sorted this out as well, obviously, so they can get out that way now. So, Brindleton House, my darlings. The oldest building in Brindleton Bay. Um, Lovely. It does look like a dowager house. It doesn't look like a main stately home. Um, Oh, I need to put like a little bush or something under that tree. It looks a bit lonely there. Um, Out into the little back courtyard area. Excuse you, window. How is that glitch still in the game? I can tell you why, because... Sims, that's why. Um, little patio out here as well. Little darling moment there with a couple of chairs where they sit out and have their croissants and whatnot. We'll get around the front of the house. Right. Come with me. Come with me. <laughs> Follow me through this way. Everyone. Right. And then up here. Little moment there. Little trapdoor moment down into the cellar. Through the main door. Stairs going all the way up. Ignore the ceilings throughout, please. Um, lovely little moment there. Little little flower moment. Into the parlour slash library. Oh, stunning. 
little half wall moment. Those pictures are very big, actually. I didn't realize the scaling of them, but we're going to go with it anyway. Oh, I'm going to need to put paneling on that bit of the wall because that's throwing me off there. And then down into the basement, you've, you've just seen it, but this is where Graham stores all of his antique furniture and whatnot. Little pulley system all the way up there. Gorgeous. Storage moment in that bit. Beautiful. Um, those are floating, but I don't care. It's down in the basement. It's not bothering me. Um, then through into this area here, the main living room. Ah, ignore those ceilings. Very, very. I do like this room. This is probably my favorite room in the house, the living room. Do like it. Um, and then through here, a little writing nook where Penelope gets all of her letters written. Um, into the conservatory. Thank you. Um, where they have their fine meals with all of the other lords and ladies throughout the land lands. We're definitely going to be doing a few more lords and ladies in Henford on Bagley, which is the next world, by the way, and Windenburg as well. Um, into the kitchen, into the kitchen. Quite new, this kitchen. I reckon this kitchen was put in during, I don't know, maybe just after the war. <laughs> so not new at all. Um, but new enough, to, new compared to how old this house is, darlings. Up onto the landing, not a Timothy in sight. Into the master suite. Very lovely, just nice, clean, fresh looking room. I'm very much feeling this room. Um, ignore those ceilings. I keep saying it, but I just want to remind you. Toilet, little ensuite. I didn't show you how I furnished this, but just like the others. Just like the others. Fresh, blue, bougie, over the top. Um, just like this one, with the swan bath as well. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Um guest bedroom just in case they have a cheeky guest over only a single bed though so if there's two people they'll have to top and tail and then the butler's room which is what we've just done as well i mean this this house would have definitely have an attic but it just wouldn't look right with sim scaling on the outside it would look strange it would look weird and i'm not for it not for it at all anyway my darlings we're all done for today i'll be back tomorrow with let's build the worlds we're gonna have two more let's build the worlds this week so we're gonna be starting on graham's antique shop um and i need some names for the antique shop as well i was thinking maybe berry cloth antiques i think that sounds really good it sounds posh it sounds bougie berry cloth antiques i think would probably be the way that we're gonna go but i would still love if you've got any ideas let me know um and then on Friday, I've got a speed build coming out using some lovely custom content. Now, I know I haven't linked the last one yet, but I'm working on a Google Doc with all of the CC that I use for you guys to be able to just go and plop it in your game. And then whatever build I do, I'll keep adding in that CC. Um, so you guys, it'll be easier. It'll be easier for me. Um, but that's it. I'm live on Twitch tonight, by the way. 7 p.m. GMT playing the wolf among us it's such a great great game it's my first time playing it and i'm having a blast so if you can join us please do because i would love to have you there but if not i'll be back tomorrow goodbye <laughs>